up next is SMU and head coach Sonny Dykes. SMU is 3-5 and five overall, 2-2 two and two in the Americans. Uh, the Mustangs played against Cincinnati last week. Cincinnati won the game 26-20 to 20 in overtime. Mustangs are back at home this week to face uh, Houston at Gerald J. Ford Stadium, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central on ESPNU. Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would uh, take a minute to tie up the game against Cincinnati, and what you expect to see is you're uh, back at home to take on uh, Houston on Saturday night, please. Yeah, um, you know, we had a, a hard-fought game against Cincinnati. Thought our guys, you know, played hard, gave us a chance to win. Thought we played really well uh, defensively. You know, I, I uh, just like the guys' effort. You know, the offense kind of struggled a little bit early in the game and, and found a rhythm in the second half and, you know, took a lead and we just weren't able to hang on to it. And um, Got to give Cincinnati a lot of credit for putting together that last drive and then you know, the kicker for nailing that field goal and getting it to overtime and then just had a had a bad play in overtime and lost the game. So, you know, tough one for our guys to lose, but, you know, we're, um, you know, I feel like we're improving and getting better. And, you know, we've, we've had three conference games that have literally come down to the last play of the game, um, you know, with, with one with Tulane and one with Navy and now one with Cincinnati. And we've been fortunate to win two of those. And, you know, we didn't make enough plays down the stretch, um, you know, Saturday to, to win. And so, um, again, there's just not a lot of margin for error. It's a, it's a, it's a balanced league, and um, especially kind of in the middle of the pack, there's not much much difference between a lot of the teams. And so, um, you know, was proud of our effort, but but you know, we didn't do quite enough to get it done. Any questions for Coach Sonny Dykes? Please star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. We will now take our next question from Billy and Buddy from 247 Sports. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering, after the Michigan game, you said part of the the reason for, for going to Wheel in the second half was a, was an accountability thing with, with Ben and, and turnovers. And, and obviously, he's shown some improvement over the last couple of weeks. But after the way the game ended on, on Saturday, I didn't know kind of how, how your approach might change with that or – or, or with the quarterback position just overall? Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at it, Ben really hadn't turned the ball over much this year. I mean, he had a couple of issues early in the year where we felt like we forced some balls. Um, you know, when you're in overtime, I mean, I think you have to look at, at all of those things for what they are. You know, every situation is different. And when you're in overtime and you're trying to convert on a third down, and, you know, then, you know, you're going to be more inclined to throw the ball in a tight window. And, um, you know, just didn't make a great throw through it a little bit behind James, and and they made a good play on it. You know, Ben's had the misfortune of, of you know, turning it over five times, and and five of them have been touchdowns for the other team. And so it's been a that's been very unusual. That's, you know, normally happens maybe once a year at most, or twice a year, and uh, it seems like it's been an event that's happened quite a bit for us. So you know, I think it's like anything else. You you always have to be able to put things into perspective and and situationally, you know, that it calls for quarterbacks to do different things in different situations. And so, you know, we'll go back to the same thing we've been doing is is let the guys practice during the week and you know, and, and devise a game plan for both of them and, and, you know, with some little nuances that are a little different and see, you know, which one we think is going to give us the best shot to win. And that's what we're trying to do is, is you know, win as many games as we can. And, um, you know, and right right now we just felt like that Ben gives us the best chance. And then just injury updates on, on Delonte Scott and Rodney Clemens and Mikel who didn't know how they were feeling. Yeah, yeah, I think I would expect most of those guys back this week. You know, it's still too early in the week to know for sure. Uh, but, but I would imagine, you know, at least two of the three will be back and potentially all three. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We will now take our next question from Jerry Frehley from Dallas Morning News. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Great. Thank you, Sonny. Uh, hey, I just wondered, as you get into Houston, does the defensive lineman Oliver remind you of anyone you have uh, coached against in the past? Yeah, I mean, I think um, – that's a good question. There was some of the, you know, some of the USAD tackles when I was at, at Arizona as a coordinator, um, you know, potentially maybe Everson Griffin, some of those guys, um, you know, a little bit of Tommy Harris, maybe at Oklahoma uh, back in the day when I was at Texas Tech, just, you know,
you know, because Ed's not the biggest guy in the world playing defensive tackle. You know, I mean, he's not a, a 320-pound D tackle. He's, you know, probably 285, 290. Uh, but he just moves so well. You know, he's so active. And um, and it really the impressive thing about about Ed is just he plays really hard. You know what I mean? I mean, I think that's uh, – you can tell he really likes football. His effort's always good. Um you know, I just I really respect the way he plays the game. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing that stands out. Now, he's obviously very, very athletic. You know, he uses his hands extremely well. You know, he doesn't let you get your hands on him. He's 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 going to, you know, get his hands on the, on the offensive lineman so that they can't really get a piece of him and get him locked up. And, you know, and he plays with good leverage, plays with his pads low, uh, has great quickness and, and like I said, the biggest the biggest thing is just his, you know, continuous effort. I uh, just like the way he, he plays. Great. Thank you, sir. Okay, thanks. We will now take our next question from Dan Totora from wakeupcalldt.com. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. To just look at, you know, the the team, and, and I know you had a close loss uh, against Cincinnati most recently, but starting off the season on the losing side of things and then winning three of four, just what you could say about how you've seen this team kind of come on and then play that close game against Cincinnati, just, uh, you know, what's happened through your eyes of this team in your first season with them and, and how, you know, maybe the culture's changing a little bit or evolving a little bit as we go through the season. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been proud of our improvement. I mean, we, you know, we didn't start well early in the year, and you know, and then we hit a hit a, uh, a span where we played a bunch of top twenty-five teams. You know, we played a, a a TCU team at the time that was in the top fifteen. Then we played a Michigan team that was in the top fifteen. Then we played a Central Florida team that was in the top, you know, fifteen, and and we're getting ready to play a Houston team that's in the top twenty, and so and a Cincinnati team that was just you know just in the top twenty-five. So I mean I think you know that's the that's the thing that we've we've you know have played some good good football teams you know I'm seeing some, some teams that um, obviously have had a lot of success and have been good programs and, and have good players um, you know I think you know we've competed at times in those games you know I think that it's pretty clear that we've got to build a little more depth in our program you know to hang with some of those teams you know we played a really good first half against Michigan and a pretty good first half against TCU but got worn down a little bit in the second half. And, and, you know, so what we have to do is we have to develop the young players that are currently in our program, and then we've got to do a good job of recruiting. And, and fortunately, you know, we're off to a very good start in recruiting. I'm really excited about, about the, the kind of football players that we have an opportunity to recruit here at SMU. Um, and I'm excited about our current players. You know, the buy-in has been really good. I think the buy-in has increased every week. Um, and, you know, I, I like our team. I mean, I like the kids. They're working hard. Uh, they've got a good attitude. You know, we had a really good practice last night. Sometimes when you lose the way that we lost on Saturday, you know, guys will show up and you got to jump start them and all that. And they showed up with a, with a great attitude and the right frame of mind. And and so, you know, those things are all positive, uh, you know, but, but at the end of the day, this is a results business, you know, and, and we need to, we need to figure out how to win some of those games. It's not a, you know, we're not into the moral victory deal or any of that stuff. And so we, we want to just keep improving and getting better. And I think if you look at our, our, you know, our schedule this year and our track record, you know, we've played competitive uh, against most of the teams that we've played against. And so, you know, Central Florida got a little bit out of hand, um, certainly didn't play well against North Texas early and you got to give them credit. Um, but the rest of the games, you know, we've, we've, We've played pretty well at times and got a little worn down in the second half. So, you know, we just got to keep developing our players, and that's the big thing for us in recruiting. And, and as I said, I'm, I'm optimistic the way all that's going. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this week. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Coach, thanks so much for your time, time today. Look forward to hearing. Oh, I'm sorry, we have to, sorry, we have to, do have to end up there. We have to uh, move on to the next coach. Coach, appreciate your time today and look forward to talk, uh, talking to you once again next okay. Monday. Okay.